Hello guys, happy fall to you. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Jenya. Welcome to my cleaning channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing some cleaning, some organizing, a little bit of decluttering, some laundry and an easy recipe at the end. I need to pull out my toddler son's fall clothes, go through the rest of his clothes, decide what I'm going to do with it. We're going to move out his baby bed as he is now upgraded to a toddler bed. While working on that room, we're simultaneously going to be cleaning up our master bedroom. Sometimes I just have to tackle a few things at the same time now that we are a family of six and I have two newborns that I have to take care of. So doing one thing at a time is not always working for me right now. Sometimes I just have to multitask, but you know, just doing simple things at the same time. We're also going to be folding a little bit of laundry in this video. Video as well as you can see I started in our master bedroom I just wanted to change the sheets and tidy up just a little bit I did my best not to turn it into a deep cleaning video because that's what happens a lot of times you just get into that groove of cleaning you know and you end up finding yourself scrubbing every single corner of that room I find that that happens to me a lot but sometimes a priority is a priority you gotta ignore little messes in order to get the bigger one cleaned up right now I'm at my toddler's room and I wanted to start with changing in everybody's sheets but I had to go back and wear my baby because I could not handle just holding him and changing the sheets obviously if you're big on baby wearing you might be looking at me and thinking that I am not doing it correctly because my baby is too low that's because I'm only now starting to really do it because I've never really had to do it with my other two babies I never felt the need to carry my baby in a baby carrier up until now though I know one thing that if you are wearing your baby you should be able to turn your head down and reach your baby's head to kiss it that's how close the baby is supposed to be to you but anyways I am learning and at least I'm getting things done around the house with my baby and so the things that I have to do in the master bedroom I am not able to do with my baby in the carrier that's why I decided to start in my toddler's room I need to do his clothes rearrangement for fall but I feel like I'm getting into too many details without even introducing myself for those who may be new to this channel my name is Jenya and and I love cleaning, decluttering and organizing on this channel. I am married, my husband works and we have a two toddlers and two newborn twins. My daughter is four years old, my son is two, whose room we are in right now. And I just had a twin boys two months ago and things have been pretty interesting lately, but we are learning and we are managing. On this channel, you will find plenty of cleaning, organizing and decluttering. And normally my house is a wreck. I'm just running around like a chicken with no head, trying to put it back together. And I feel like today's video is more of a relaxing one, which I have never, I think ever had on my channel so i hope you enjoy this relaxing sort of video today we're still gonna be doing a bunch of things just not necessarily running around like crazy i mean if i wanted to i couldn't with that baby on me in that plastic white bin that i'm going to roll out of that closet and go through i have all of my son's max's clothes that are out of season and the other category is everything that is way too big for him yet so i'm going to go through out of season clothes pull those out because it's mostly fall clothes i'm going to put his summer clothes from his dresser into this out of season drawer i'm going to glance through the clothes that are too big for him and see if he is ready to wear any of those some clothes i'm going to declutter out of this house whereas other clothes are going to be hand-me-downs for the other two boys of mine While my newborn was off me for a second, I decided to quickly put on the sheets on the bed while I can. We have two beds in his room right now because we're trying to transition him to use the toddler bed. 
rather than this baby bed, but having two beds for him available at the same time gives him no rush, no panic. He chooses which bed he wants to sleep each and single night. We've had the toddler bed there for about uh, maybe a little bit less than a week and he has been choosing to sleep in his toddler bed more and more often. So we're going to make the decision to move the baby bed out tonight. Now we are in master bedroom. I was able to put my baby down for a nap together with the other one. So now it's the perfect time to put the clean sheets on the bed and do the things that I'm not able to do when my baby is on me or around. I'm showing you a little trick right now, the label of the sheet. Whenever you put the sheet on your mattress, the label is always on the right bottom corner and that is a standard for all sheets out there. So if you find that label, then you don't have to be guessing if you're putting on the sheet correctly. The way I memorized it for myself is that the label should be always at my feet because I sleep on the right side. I always try to use electronic wipes on any of my electronics, especially my computer and the TV here. So I get them either from the dollar store or this one, this time I got from Amazon for like five bucks. Now it is time to leave the master bedroom for a minute. We're going to come back here in just a little bit. There's a lot of clutter on the top of my dresser that we need to take care of, as well as the nightstands. But right now it's a good time to continue decluttering my toddler's room because before we know it, it's dinner time. And after dinner time, there isn't much I can do in this room. And I don't really like rushing and decluttering and organizing projects. I like trying to enjoy them and put a little bit of thought into it if I can. So this was the priority for the day that I was trying to get done first of all as we have gone through my son's shirts i had that pile on the floor which is to declutter and the pile on the bed is everything to hand down to the twin boys as i was talking about this room as the priority for the day it actually brought me to think about my favorite youtuber well one of the favorite youtubers his name is ali abdal not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly but he makes videos all about productivity time organization organizing your thoughts and stuff like that in one of his videos he was talking about one of the ways to get things done in a day that works for some people and i don't believe that there is only one way of getting things done that works for everybody it depends a lot on your lifestyle and the way you like getting things done but with my current hectic lifestyle i found one way that actually works for me and that's called the highlight of the day basically you pick that one thing that you really need to get done today and everything else is secondary and that one thing is the highlight priority of the day for you and if you think about it at the end of the day in a year you will have 365 things done correctly and thoughtfully by doing one thing a day rather than starting and never finishing a thousand other tasks while i understand as busy moms we cannot just have one thing on our to-do list what i try to do for myself is just still pick that highlight of the day if possible get it out of the way as soon as you can and then of course have a couple of more extra things on your to-do list to do next but at the same time to not beat yourself up if you never get to them at least you got that one priority thing out of the way for today so you can call the day productive feel good about yourself and relax When you're away, nights are sleep. 
Here I'm going to have my son's fall jackets and pants that go with those jackets together hung in this closet. The rest of his clothes that he's going to wear during the colder times are in his dresser. Everything else that is either out of season or is too big for him to wear is going to go into that white plastic dresser in his closet. Oh yeah, and the things that are summer shirts that need to be hung, I hung closer to the wall. I just moved them out of the way. That's everything for the twin boys that I'm getting out of this room. I'm still trying to figure out and do not know how to feel about twin boys clothes. Sometimes I feel like I already have a little bit too much clothes for them, but at the same time, it's twins. So am I not supposed to have twice as much clothes? That's what I'm thinking in my mind. I'm still figuring that one out. I'm trying to not be afraid to declutter things, especially something that I don't really care about. I'm just talking about the boys clothes in this family at the moment, but at the same time, this situation is new to me and I just want to be prepared. I feel like a couple of separators in this dresser would help, even though it is not that cluttered. I still like having separators lately, which I order from Timu online marketplace, and I never used to really use so much of those separators, or should I say dividers for your clothes in your dresser. That's because I would never bring myself to pay $10 or something like that for a divider, and that's just one of them. But now that I found a good price on Timu, I actually keep buying them and organizing my top is close. I decided to start storing his blankets into that empty drawer since we had the extra space. I'm also going to label the day diapers and night diapers on this organizer since they do look quite similar. I'm donating a bunch of things from my son's room and then on a different day the separator or divider for those dressers from my son's room came in so I wanted to put one into his pants drawer I normally think of his pants in two categories one is night pajamas and then the rest I feel like whenever my husband decides to put him to bed I feel like a lot of times he's dressed up like he's about to go out and this is the reason for the divider so that it's clear where the night pants are I wasn't certain 100% of this is the way I'm gonna go so I didn't label it quite this time but also the divider was a little bit too short and I decided to put the double rubber on the end to make it fit a little bit better it is adjustable however it was either too long or too short for this drawer okay we're done these are all Max's pants I think it's pretty clear and this is the organizer I labeled before with the night and day diapers I forgot to show you okay time to go back to master bedroom to take care of this mess on top of this dresser My husband ordered me some pajamas from Sam's Club for I believe like $15. They had pockets, which is important to me, and they felt really nice. I'm gonna try them a little bit later.
I thought this was so cute. My cat claimed this bed since we didn't really use it for the twins. I decided it's okay for her to have it. Back to Max's room. <laughs> this is after dinner time and my husband is pulling the baby bed apart. We are going to move it out of the room because now Max is ready to sleep in his toddler bed. I'm bringing the clothes for the twins that he's donating to the twin room and here they are just chilling. So inside the twins closet these two baskets are just hand-me-downs from their older brother i feel like we're going to be okay on clothes definitely not gonna be short while my husband is pulling the bed apart we need to take care of a pile of laundry here in the guest room we need to at least start with the pile on the bed but it was the easiest laundry because it was mostly just blankets and sheets There is still a basket that we will come back to the next morning because my husband was done with the bed, was ready to move it out and say goodnight to our son. This transition to the big boy bed was so smooth and exciting for him. I think it took around a week for us to have both beds in that room, maybe two weeks the most. I'm sorry if I lose track of time, but when he started picking the big toddler bed to sleep in for like four nights in a row, we decided that it was the time to get rid of the baby bed finally. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, I'll follow home Golden, golden, golden 
I'm just trying on those pajamas that my husband got for me from Sims Club. I never really had to worry about having long sleeve warm pajamas for the night, but now that I have to constantly get up at night, I have to wear something long sleeve but also something that I can wear in bed because I am pretty picky about my pajamas. I do not like wearing pants in bed, but any pants I have, even if it's pajama, they have to have a pocket for my phone and those pajamas did have a pocket. I magically finished the laundry the next morning in this guest room. I decided not to take you through the folding process. We already did the other half. I'm going to quickly put it away and we're moving into the kitchen. I have a very easy no-bake healthy snack recipe for you. A lot of you are familiar with those. I'm sure it's called energy balls. I'll show you my version. As I'm trying to breastfeed, I am constantly hungry and these are a lifesaver for me, especially in the middle of the night. I have one cup of oats that I blend a little bit which is optional then the idea is to add some plant butter a bunch of seeds and some honey roll it into bowls and freeze I'm spraying the cup before I put the butter in it with a little bit of oil so that the butter doesn't get stuck to the cup just quite as much as it normally would the ratio is two-thirds to one cup of plant butter I probably should have mixed that butter, but I don't work with plant butters a lot, so this recipe is quite new to me, but as soon as I started making it, it quickly became my favorite, my husband's favorite, and my kids are obsessed with those too, so they are allowed to have about one to two bowls a day. I'm adding a quarter cup of honey, a pinch of salt, a pinch of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to add whatever nuts or seeds I have available. I also prefer to add a bunch of raisins, chia seeds, go really well here the recipe is pretty versatile and you can mix and match whatever you have in your pantry i think sometimes i add a quarter cup of blended walnuts pumpkin seeds chia seeds now i personally do not like peanut butter but i did make some because we were out of all the other butters and my husband did eat those and he liked them a lot so if you like peanut butter i guess give it a go but i buy either almond butter or another butter which is already mixed with all different seeds that i buy from costco and if it's not mixed in with seeds you just add your own seeds make sense so now you just roll them into bowl i'm gonna flash freeze them for five minutes in the freezer and then i'm going to take them out and put them into a ziploc bag and back into the freezer the reason we're putting them on the tray first and then putting them into the freezer for five minutes is that so they don't get stuck to each other I decided to make another batch, this time adding pecans. I'm going to grind them, add some chia seeds and raisins. Also, when it comes to honey, I found that a quarter of a cup is too much for me. It's a little bit too sweet, but then you can taste them as you're making them and decide if you want a little bit of less or a little bit of more of whatever. This recipe came from a relative, so I'm just going to leave the basics for you in the description of this video and you can adjust to your liking time to take them out about an hour later and put them into a ziploc bag and we are done i hope you guys enjoyed today's video got plenty of motivation for cleaning organizing let me know if you decide to try the bowl so maybe you have your own version but yeah have a wonderful wonderful weekend and i'll see you next saturday all right bye bye